Dr. Schulter, could you give us a short overview to your poster here at this year's RCR? Sure, thank you, my pleasure. So what we have here is a uh, observational cohort of patients that received subcutaneous uh, galimumab uh, in Canada in uh, 120 offices across the country. So it was a, uh, an observational uh, prospective cohort. It ran from 2002 and it's ongoing. And uh, so patients uh, are recruited uh, that have a PSA or AS or rheumatoid arthritis. And our particular poster focused on extra-articular manifestations of patients with PSA and ankylosing spondylitis. So it was, uh, so it was uh, purely observational, so the, the practicing uh, rheumatologist uh, 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 saw the patient uh, as per normal clinical practice and, uh, and uh, case report forms were filled in every six months. You mentioned that the study is ongoing. Yes. Um, what are the long-term plans um, for it? Well, so we're collecting data, and so patients uh, are followed uh, for uh, adverse events, uh, efficacy, um, and uh, through specific uh, questions, like for example, the PSA population, we record PASI scores, uh, we new onset uveitis. For the AS cohort, we're recording new onset IBD. So in our, the particular focus of this poster is looking at, uh, at uh, uveitis and uh, IBD in patients with PSA and ankylosing spondylitis over the period of time of follow-up. So we have baseline data and new onset. And the, the bottom line is that the incidence of, of these extra-articular manifestations uh, in this cohort on an anti-TNF drug galimumab is very low. Um, so I guess uh, in terms of, uh, of what we can get out of this in practice is perhaps is this preventing new, new cases of these extra-articular manifestations? We don't know because we don't have a control group, but uh, it's positive to see that our patients over this period of time are doing very well. And this is perhaps contrary to a um, few other studies that we've seen here where um, there were actually some extra-articular manifestations in patients, um, for example, with AS? Yes, I mean, we, we did see some new cases, but again, they were very low. And, uh, and pro so, so the incident rate was, was, was quite low. Our baseline rate for uh, uveitis and ankylosing spondylitis was about 14%. Um, and so um, we did have definitely cases of it at baseline, but new onset cases were, were fairly low. Um, just a general question now, where do you believe the research will take us in the, in the coming years and what are the most exciting? Sure, well this is, uh, for, for this area I think it's, uh, it's predicting who is going to develop these extra-articular manifestations and then targeting the appropriate therapy to those patients specifically. Okay, thank you very much for your time. Yes, you're welcome.